Okay, so today we're gonna do something a little bit different. So today I'm gonna show you guys the amount of mom and pop thrift stores that are in our area. Like there's a lot. So we recently went down to Granville, which is about three hours south of us uh, for an event. And we tried to find a couple of thrift stores to stop at on the way down there. And they were scarce. Like there was like a couple of Goodwills, but Goodwill prices are too expensive for what I can find at like mom and pop thrift store that supports the local community. So I think I'm spoiled by the amount of thrift stores in my area. And I think that how you get your items or your inventory for your online store, whether it's eBay, Poshmark, or Mercari, there's so many more. Um, it really varies by what's available in your area. So storage units are hard for me because the majority of them are down south. They're about three hour drive. I don't do very many of them for that reason because it would just be a lot of drive time. But the amount of thrift stores that are within like a 40 mile radius of me are in abundance. Like there are a lot and we're gonna go through all the In the winter, it's really hard to determine what the weather is gonna be like here in Northern Michigan. Like these are clear roads. There's probably two feet of snow on the ground, but this is clear roads. But I could go into a thrift store and come out and it could be a white out blizzard with ice road so I do make sure I watch the weather but today is a great day to travel um, the roads are clear and the weather doesn't look too bad and we've made it to our first thrift store which is a challenge mountain resale store I love this thrift store it has by far the most amount of clothes which is what I specialize in the main downside about this store is that they always take in everything all the time. So items like this I'll come across. It's a great brand. It's the North Face. It's like a tennis dress and they want $8 for it and it is just so pilly. So we did leave that behind. This next item is Eileen Fisher. I do love this brand. This is a linen dress for $3 and I did end up putting this in my cart. So I think this item is a good example of an item that I would typically pick up as a reseller. However, they wanted $30 for this. It's an extra small. It was super pilly. I did pass on it. So I really like this store because it really has a lot of clothes, but they also have a lot of shoes. However, I feel like this store's shoes are just severely overpriced for the quality that they are. Those Columbia boots they wanted like $30 for and when you turned them over they must have not checked them but the slow soles were like cracking and just almost had like a dry rot feel to them. Um, they want for like basic shoes here they want like $15 and $20 for like no boundary Walmart shoes and that's just something that I can't make money on. So this is a really bad angle, but these racks were so tight. It makes it really hard, I think, for customers to try and shop it, which is actually nice for me as a reseller, because if people can't shop the clothes because they're so tight, that means they're not being shopped at all, which means there's a potential that there could be really good profitable stuff in here hiding. All right, we're at number two. Alright, so we just got done at that last place. We spent a total of, I think, $68. All the clothes were half off that we got. We're at the third resale store. So this thrift store has a really weird pricing system, so I always come over to this poster and take a picture so I know and I don't have to find the signs. So as a reseller, I find that this thrift store has really high prices. So this Bowdoin dress, they wanted $10 for. So these did catch my eye and I did go through and I scanned a lot of these. Um, a lot of these are vintage collectibles that came from like Kmart like 30 or 40 years ago. Um, there was only one that stood out the most and I did get that one. I paid $8 for it. If you guys want to see that, like I said, make sure you guys stick around for the end of the video where you guys can see my potential profit. So I found this cool DuPont 24 um, hat. These go really well. 
but I'll tell you guys more about this car. So I couldn't not look this item up. It was only $5 on the shelf. It looked really interesting, almost had a fake-like look to it. But after looking up sold comps, I mean, it's a pretty good, pretty good deal. I mean, we could get anywhere new in box like this from $75 to like $200 on some of these. I just got to figure out what model it is. So I forgot to film it, but we did leave that store and now we are at a Goodwill. This is our fourth stop. Um, there's a few items that caught my eye right in the beginning here. Um, a few for personal use. And this item in particular I thought was maybe worth some value. It was like Suka Audio, which is like an audio amplifier. I'm definitely going to give this away in my holiday giveaway. And if you haven't heard about my holiday giveaway, make sure you look at the last video that I made and I'll tell you more about it. I don't usually do this good at Goodwills, um, but this one in this particular town actually usually has some really good deals. I found so many great brands, Madewell, Eileen Fisher, Silver Jeans, all new tags. I did grasp, grab those up for $10, new tags. I mean, that's a really good deal. And just from looking outside, you can already see that Northern Michigan has flipped its lid. And this is what happens. If you wait too long and you go shopping for too long and you come out and that's what your car looks like. Time to get home. The one downside to living in northern Michigan is snow. And then this happens. And I wonder how I'm supposed to get home safely. Depending on how crazy this weather gets, it'll be a slow like 40 mile an hour drive instead of 55 or 60. Um, and it's cold it's like 30 degrees but we had a successful amazing time in goodwill i this is the only goodwill that i really go to in this area um i don't remember how many thrift stores we've been to i think it's i think this was the fourth one but we spent a hundred dollars here they get a bunch of weird stuff from amazon and i don't know if somebody donates it or if they buy their own stuff or if it gets transferred in from like another goodwill but we got some really good stuff we'll use it for some gifts for this year Honestly, I probably shouldn't even be holding the phone, but this is what we're working with. And the road is slippery. That's great. I spent $331.93 in about seven and a half to eight hours is how long it took me to find everything. And we went to four different thrift stores. I'll give you guys average prices at the end of this video of what I should have to make or what I could make on everything potential profit. So the first few items that I got were ties. This first item that we got, it's new with tags, um, but it's just this Tommy Hilfiger like striped tie. It is silk um, and now that I'm looking at it there is like a dirt smudge on the back but all these ties I only paid a dollar for these. Even though it's Tommy Hilfiger, it's silk, I'm still guessing we'll get under $15 for this. Uh, it was like buy two ties get one free so there's like 75 cents total into the amount of ties that I got. So that's the first one. And then this one I got, I know this brand, I don't know how to say it. Um, but I've bought shirts with this brand before and they have sold pretty quickly, pretty fast. I thought this was a really unique design and this is a silk tie as well. I'm guessing that we can get about 10 to $15 for this tie. And this last tie, I don't know if there's much money to be made. I just thought it was fun. It's a Looney Tunes, like Tasmanian Devil tie. It is polyester, so it's not silk. Here's like the Looney Tunes tag. I don't know if it's vintage or not, but again, I just thought it was a super fun tie. So I'm gonna see how well that one does. I'm gonna say, you know, $15 tops. It's not silk, it's just polyester. This next item is Woolrich, which I am really picky about Woolrich. Um, I see lots of men's basic tops, women's basic tops. It's going to be a coat or a sweater that I pick up. Um, and this sweater was decently priced. It's got a hood. It's just a nice like button up heavy cardigan. And I do believe it's a wool blend is why I picked it up. Um, probably expecting about 20 or 25 on that. And this brand I often buy for myself. Um, and it is expensive up front. It's, 
I usually pay between $35 and $45 used sometimes. It's a size XL, which is my size, so if it doesn't get a lot of attention in the first couple of weeks, I might just say, keep it for myself. But the brand is Zella. Great workout brand, and I just thought this was a fun, it's like a long sleeve polo in like this like beige and oatmeal like animal print. I would still say I could get about $25 for this. This is a basic athletic top. I mainly got it because it was only $2. It's a size large, but it's just a basic racerback top. I'll probably only get about 10 to 15 for this one. It is called Sunday, which I want to say I have picked up. I think this is just a basic boutique brand, but I'll have to do some more research on it. But just a fun, like knit, striped, cute, basic top. Um, and it was super cheap, so if it's not a super basic brand, we can hope for 20. And this brand, I have bought these, I bought this in pants before, and the brand is Lulu B. And I don't really know what that brand stems from. It could just be its own thing. This is a size medium. It was, it was only $2. Like, basic sleeveless top. It's great this time of year for, like, blazers or to go under shirts. Um, and I think it's a really pretty color. So I'm going to take a whack and say, like, 10 to $15. This item was pretty cheap as well. And this is a Disney brand. I don't know if it's vintage or if Disney just has multiple types of tags. But this is just, like, a women's basic um, button-up shirt with, like, who is this? It's, like, Tigger embroidered on it. Um, and I couldn't find this exact same one. But Disney, similar to this, is going for, are going for, like, 25 to 30 dollars. I'm gonna guess the brand is Fabiolas. I don't really know. These were only four dollars. They're size 39 European size so probably what is that like an eight to an eight and a half in women's and I just think these are really cool. They're like this embroidered espadrille shoe. I think they're really pretty and there is some like what are these little fuzzies here? But I found this exact same pair online uh, used. And the used pair had a big hole in the bottom. And they still sold for $24 plus shipping. I do love this brand. It does bring in good money. And it typically sells pretty quickly for me. And the brand is Jay McLaughlin. And we have one in the area that we live in. And these are also espadrilles. This is like a linen canvas exterior. It's got the raw hem here. The espadrille shoe. And these are actually pretty clean on the bottom. These are an eight and a half and they were nine dollars, but I think I can hope to see about thirty five dollars for these. This next brand is a favorite. You guys always hear me talk about this. I will never stop picking this up. Um, some of my pieces have been taking a little bit longer to sell, but maybe that's just because it's a golf or a cycling brand. But the brand is Jamie Sadak. I do pick this up if I know I can get it for under ten dollars, depending on the size and the style. And this is just a cute women's. A lot of the shirts I find from this brand are really crazy colored. In designs like this but they tend to go really fast I'm gonna say about 20 to 25 for the shirt and then this is a Nike golf shirt I'm pretty sure it's a men's but it was in the women's section but it just seems like a really good quality Nike shirt I'm gonna guess I can only get about 15 or 20 this next thing is women's Merrill Omniwick like leggings I should be able to get about 25 for these this is Elijah J which I think is a pretty good brand. It's a size 18 women's. I believe you can get Elijah J through like the Stitch Fix series. And it's so pretty. I think it's just like a shift dress. Um, but it's got this really pretty gold zip in the back. Elijah J, like I said, I'm going to say on average, most dresses I can get about $35 for Elijah J. But the brand is just Michael Kors. Just basic mall brand. I, you could probably find this at Macy's. Pretty sure maybe even Kohl's but this is just like a sheath or like a kind of like a fitted dress it's got some interesting gathering on the front and I don't know what this print is called I can't think of it at the moment but it's just a cute sleeveless dress and then it's got this big like metal brooch on one of the sleeves so I'll probably only get 15 to 20 for this it's rare that I find Eileen Fisher without a tag and then it just comes on like like, like it's just printed on here. I don't think I've ever seen that. I think all the Eileen Fisher I've ever seen comes on a tag. Um, and this is a dress, linen front. There is some light wash wear in here, but I've always had really good luck with this brand. So I'm gonna say this being linen 
and the light wash work conditions it, that it's in, I could still probably get about $30. This is cute. Again, if this doesn't get any attention, I'll probably just keep it for myself because I really like the setup on this. Um, this is Simply Noel. I have sold a few pieces, I think more or less on Poshmark, but this is just a semi sheer like knit cotton sweater. It's got some cute like uh, button detail at the bottom there. Um, it's a large, large, extra large. Like I said, I think it's just a regular tunic top um, knit sweater. I probably only get between 15 to 24, otherwise I'll just keep it for myself. I had never heard of this brand before. It's called Lucy Paris, and it was new with tags, but I still didn't pay that much for it. It's a size large. It does seem like it would run small, like it's gonna be like a junior size. Like, I'm a large for an extra large, and I don't think I could fit into this. But it was new with tags. The original MSRP on this is $75. And this is just a cute like fitted cheese dress as well. It's got like the slimming, it's like thicker, so it's got like the slimming effect on the tummy part. It's probably like a knee length dress. This would make for a good holiday dress. And when I looked up comps on these, like the highest one that I sold or saw that sold was sold for like $49, um, but it was a different color. So I'd be curious to see what this one does. Probably list it for about 35. So this is Beach Lunch Lounge. Um, and this is just like a shift dress as well, or like a sundress. It's got a cute like floral print, it's sleeveless. It's probably like a knee length dress. Probably only get about 25. I love this sweater. <laughs> this is Jay McLaughlin again. And this is like a cotton knit or like a crocheted open sweater. The only thing that I am a little worried about is there does appear to be a little bit of discoloration in the armpits. I might try to put some OxyClean on there and see if I can get that out. I don't think you can see it from afar, but when you're up close, you can kind of see it. So if we can get that out, um, we should be able to get about $40 for this. It's a Lily Pulitzer, um, just polo shirt. Probably only get about $15 for this. There is one pull in it. These are super cute. The brand is just Banana Republic. These are a size 12. They are new with tags. They were a great price. Um, and they're these really cute, like interesting stripey pants. Like, I don't know how to explain these. They look like they're like a straight leg crap, maybe. I'm noticing a stain here. Looks like makeup or something. I might be able to spot treat that. And the original MSRP on these was $112. I doubt we'll get $112 for it, but if I got, say, 35 because they're a size 12, I'd be happy with that. This brand, I've never, I've never found. And when I saw it, I recognized this little logo. I couldn't remember what the logo was called but I Google lensed it with my Google lens app feature and it's um, masters through like, like golfing. And when I looked at the label, I did look it up and it's Magnolia Lane collection, which is a, the women's line for masters for like golfing. And these are selling used for about 25 to $30. So the brand is Angel of the North. And I thought the tag looked pretty cool, looked really unique. Um, I feel like usually a nicer brand or like um, a more expensive brand will take more time into doing a nicer job with their label. Um, this is just, I don't know, like an ivory lace sweater. It's got some cute details on there. Like I said, I'll have to do some more research. But the ones that I found right away on eBay were selling for like $30. I just like the, the colors on this one is what really grasped my attention before actually buying it. The price tag was more convincing. Um, and then I saw the brand tag label, which is Barrick. And I took some clothes on consignment one time and all the Barrick sweaters sold like the same day. So I did pick that brand up. It's made with cotton and rayon, but, and I didn't find this exact sweater, but similar sweaters with similar color schemes are going for about $25. This is Tommy Bahama and this is their this is the silk one. This is a great color. Love this color. Um, and this is size large. It's just a basic button top. Um, Tommy Bahama usually sells pretty quickly for me. I'm going to say about 25 on that one. But this is a men's the North Face, just casual button. Um, it's a size, are you a larger size? It's a size medium. It looks a little bit bigger. But I'm going to guess about 20, 25 on this one. Here's the other Jamie Sadak that I found. 
again just another basic sleeve top sleeveless top um, with a collar it's got some fun like beaded sequin around the top again it was just a good price probably 15 or 20 on that one this is another tummy bahama and this is a silk one and this is like an ivory color and I didn't see any flaws on it but I can't tell if it looks faded or if that's just the color that it is if we determine that's just the color I'm gonna say again like 2025 these are Zaya, and I know that they're really expensive. So, like, pants regularly go for between $60 and $80. If you don't know what Zaya is, it's an MLM for mainly workout clothing, but they have expanded to, like, sweaters and jackets and coats. I think they even have shoes now. And their little symbol is the moon. I don't know who else just looks for symbols like I do, but, like, I know what Lululemon, Athleta. I know all the little symbols to look for when I'm looking through them so I don't always have to pull down the tag. I'm gonna guess we can get about 35 for these. And then this pair is Prana. I need to stop picking up Prana because Prana does not sell well for me. These were a good price though. I figure I can set on these for a little bit. And these are a pair of, I think they're skinnies. Interesting like cute print. I don't know what the print on that is but I thought it was cute. Maybe only about 25 for these. And then I feel like cut from the cloth is a little bit overrated, but the last few pairs that I found that were size six and uh, smaller sold pretty quickly for a good deal. So um, just another pair of skinnies. I might only get about 20 or 25 for those. And the very coolest, very best thing that I found from there, I am so stoked about this. I paid $5 for this thing and I have no idea what it is. Um, I tried to scan it because it does have a barcode and similar items came up, but not the exact same one. I think they're selling for like 75 to a hundred dollars, but then there's red ones like this one that are selling for like $200 and I don't really know what it is. It's called super chips and it's a Mac micro tuner. It increases horsepower and torque. And this one does it for the GM Duramax diesels, which I know those are expensive trucks, but it says you just plug it in and like it says, users report, improve fuel economy, results vary depending on your driving habits, gain up to 10% more horsepower and 13% more torque on gas vehicles. And then it says gain up to 150 horsepower and up to 225 pounds torque increase on diesel vehicles. So it says you get like more power just by plugging in this little thing. I'm gonna say least amount we get between like 75 and 80 plus shipping for it. We're seeing all those model cars that we saw there. I went around and I scanned a few of them and they weren't bringing up exact models that I had scanned in. After doing some research, I think I can get about $75. It's gonna look like a cool tag. The tag is toppers. Um, it kind of looks like an old school tag. But this is Auburn Cord Duesenberg Museum. And it's got this really cool, like, 2001. So it's about vintage, right? 20 years. World's Greatest Classic Car Show and Festival. And I did pay $3 for this. But I just thought it would look kind of cool. Do some research on it and maybe we can get, like, 10 bucks. We found this DuPont Jeff Gordon uh, 24 hat. So we can get about 20 bucks for this. I don't know what it is with like the Tasmanian devil like Looney Tunes for me but here's another one. This came from a completely different store than where we got the tie. Let's say like the tag says Warner Brothers on it. This has Warner Brothers 1991. Um, but yeah I just thought it's pretty good condition. We'll see if we can get like 15 or 20 bucks for it. I found this pair of Zara basic jeans and they only wanted five dollars for them. And it's got a really interesting, like, like the zip thing on it. It's weird. Like, they're all the way zipped up, but, like, they have this weird, I don't know if it's, like, I don't know what that is. I've never seen that. I thought it was interesting. I tried Google Lens on them, and I couldn't find anything. It looks like they are a boot cut, and then they have, like, zips at the bottom. And hopefully we can get at least 15. It's a Nike Golf Standard Fit Dry Fit Polo Shirt. Um... Probably just like an easy $15. This is new with tags. It is Lane Bryant, which I only like pick up typically if it's new with tags or if it's an interesting piece. I wouldn't say this is a holiday dress. I would say this is definitely like a summer dress, but it's got like this really cute, like sheer open back and like the tropical colors in the front. I don't know what the name of this dress would be, but it's got like a straight 
or like a pencil skirt, a line skirt at the bottom. So, but it's a size 28. Okay, so this was half off. The original MSRP on it was $90. So I'm gonna hope we can get like 40 for it. I just thought this was a great color. It's reversible. It's got, it's got zip closures on one side, but it's like this pretty blue um, on the outside. And then we can just reverse it. And then it's black on this side. And the brand on this is Lauren Ralph Lauren. If you didn't know about reversible items, the brand is in the pocket. Green labels. And the green label when it looks like this, like Ralph, Lauren Ralph Lauren is the only brand that I know that looks like that. 20 bucks for this maybe. This is Joseph Ripkoff, which I don't pick up that often. This is just a silk top, but I thought it was a cute top. Just very basic, small buttons in the front. It's got buttons on the cuffs, maybe 10 to 15 on that one. I kind of talk about Tommy Hilfiger being like an oversaturated brand, and it is. But this piece is like a chunky knit, it's unique, like a different sweater. It's not your basic like button up. It's not your basic pants. Like it's different. It's chunky. It's funky. It's fun. It might even be vintage. I don't remember if this tag is vintage or not. I have to do some research on it. But I got this for a super good price. It's a men's size medium so it's a little bit smaller. But I think it's a great piece and I don't see an issue with getting about $25 for it. This felt like good quality when I touched it. Um, Eventually, I feel like everybody who does this job or is a reseller, you just get the feel for good quality material stuff. And when you touch something, you know that it's good. And this, me and Burke, it's Burke, is it Burke or Berkey? Do me and Burke? I don't know. I know the brand, but it's kind of a really fun print. It's like this, like, I don't know, summer beach house sort of like print. There's like a surf shop in the background. Again, really good price. It's definitely a crossbody bag. You should be able to get about 25 or 30 for this one. Another brand that I hardly, very rarely ever pick up. Um, it is a mall brand, more on that bread and butter side. Again, it was a really good price. It's a size 12. It's a really cute style too. Like this is Ann Taylor. And I try not to get the, I buy Loft and Loft Outlet for myself because I really like their clothes. It just doesn't resell for that much. But this blazer is just, it's really cute. Like it's like a good career piece blazer an easy $20 but the brand is sun dry and they're like there's this huge tag right here like it looks like it's sewn in there but I mean do you pull that off or <laughs> is that new or what um but they're just like a camouflage skinny with like a raw hem uh super cute I'll look these up though like I said I'm gonna say I can get about 25 or 30 for them brand I don't pick up usually at all. It's got to be a really unique piece, but usually anything funky sells quickly. The brand is Sport Haley, and I think on this haul, I actually picked up another one like this. I don't know where, where it's at. I think this is a Squirt, but I love the colors. I love the material. I like the gold button accents on here. Um, Just really cute. Probably about $20 on that one. Uh, this is Torrid. I found a lot of Torrid today and I turned down a lot of Torrid today, sadly. I love Torrid. Torrid sells really quickly for me on Facebook Marketplace, on eBay. But this dress is a 3X. Um, it's like an A-line dress. Super cute. Like Henley neckline. Um, with kind of like the elastic waist. Really pretty. It's like this really cute gray. Uh, it looks like it could be long sleeve, but it's got like the roll tab sleeve on it. I'm gonna say there's no reason I can't get about 35 for this one. But the brand is seven for all mankind. Um, I have so many pairs of these. And I think these are, maybe they're not. I feel like these are a flare jean. I don't think these are men's, I think they're women's. They're size 31 and they were in the men's department, but I think they're women's. If I could get 20 for these, I'd be really happy. And if I could get rid of them fairly quickly, I'd be even happier. Here's another cut from the cloth piece. Um, cut from the cloth, uh, the petite sizes do really well for me. And probably like 20 or 25 on those. This piece I was pretty excited about. I do find Patagonia pretty often, but not really new with tags. And this still has like the original like, I don't know, piece that would probably go with it. It's a size small. It's definitely a women's. It's made with merino wool. And I got it for a really good deal. And I don't know what you would call this. It's not a waffle knit. It's just, it's an interesting type of knit. And it's got this weird hood on it. Like, I feel like it's got, like, 
what do they call that? It's called like a face mask hood. And I think it's made for like snowboarding or skiing. But like, <laughs> I don't know how to hold this up right for you guys. <laughs> but basically, yeah, like it covers your nose and your mouth and then your eyes just stick out. So um, I'm going to have to do some research on this, but I'm going to guess that I can get about 45 for this one. This next brand is Apana, which to me sells better than Prana. Um, don't get those mixed up though. This is just a basic quarter sleeve. I love this color again. This one does have the thumb holes on it, um, but it's just a basic athletic top, athletic pullover. These are great for running or just going to the gym in. It is a size medium and I should be able to get about $20 for this. This brand, I think it's a local brand. Like I feel like this is a brand that's sold here, but maybe it's an international one and it's Toad & Co. And this is a size small. This is what the tag looks like. Um, it originally MSRP'd for $90 and this is just like a cute chunky knit sweater. It's, it says it's a small, it might be cropped. Um, super cute though. I really like the basic print on it. You can get about 40 for that one. It is Lulu's. Uh, Lulu sells decently well for me. They probably only get about, um, like 10 to 15 for this. This is a Tommy Bahama and I believe it is silk. This is the chambray dress and the MSRP and it was $135. And this is also just a shift dress, sleeveless shift dress. It's kind of got like that animal print look to it. I like the zebra print, but like in blue and blues. Yeah, I don't think I can get any more than 40 for it though. This is Prana, size small, just a basic knit sweater, probably in that 15 to 20 dollar range. And then this is a Columbia. This is only get about 15 or 20 for it, but it's got like the Omni heat on the inside. So it's like these little reflectors and they say that it like reflects your heat or it keeps you like warmer. Um, like I said, probably $20 on that one. Brand is Bonfire and I believe it's like a snowboarding or a skiing jacket. It's the brand. There are some dingy yellow spots all over. I might just try washing it. Yeah, it's a snowboard skiing jacket. It's a really fun print. The hood's included, so it's really nice. It is insulated. It feels really durable. Um, it feels like good quality. And I really like the print on here. It's really cute. So I did get this for a decent price. I do think I can get about 45 to 50 on this one. I got a lot of jeans. I don't need to buy any more jeans because I already have a laundry basket full of jeans set aside for my assistant um, that I don't want to do. But I found some really good new tags pants that were really awesome. I found Madewell jeans new with tags for 10 or for eight bucks at Goodwill. This is the Cali Demi boot in a size 30. And you guys, these are so cute. They're white. I don't usually pick up white pants, but I don't see anything wrong with these. And they're really cute. Um, I'm gonna say new with tags in hopefully no stains anywhere. I can get about $40 for these. Also new with tags, I found Eileen Fisher. Also pants in a size 10 petite and the original MSRP on these or the suggested retail price was $178. This beige tag is the old brand. I think the newer brand tag label is like black. Um, and I just thought these were cute like linen green pants. I'm going to say we can get about $50 for these. These are a Torrid size 26. I like how they have that plastic stretch hem is really nice. Um, these will sell pretty quickly for me. I should be able to get the size. I should be able to get about $35 for these. This Burton pair of snow pants. The size large. These do have some stains on them. Um, but snow pants this time of year. Hopefully not everybody has them and hopefully these will still get bought. I am curious about something though. So there's a zipper on the inside of this pant hem. And I haven't snowboarded in years or actually bought snowboard tech gear. I'm thinking maybe it was like a snowsuit at one point in time. So it's got the zipper hem. Yeah, pretty good condition. Lots of pockets. They are like that boot cut. Like I said, they're really stained at the bottom. Um, I guess it probably just from being like stepped on and stuff. And these are quite a few stains. You get about $50 for these. Logo here again. And that caught my eye. It's just a men's master's t-shirt. This is for 2021. It just is a Gosta National Golf Tournament. 
pretty decent price. I should be able to get about $20 for that. My last thing though, uh, this is the actual amount of total that we have to spend. And we're going to divide that by the number of items total that we have, which is this number right here. We divide our total cost divided by the number we have. This is the average number that we have to make to get our money back. Um, obviously we don't want to make this amount. We want to double or triple this amount, but this is a potential profit that we could actually make on this bundle. But yeah, that is all that I have for you guys today. So thank you so much for tuning in with me. I really appreciate it. Um, it really means a lot to me. If you guys could give this video a thumbs up, it would show me that you like video content like this. And if you haven't yet already and you like content revolved around eBay, definitely consider subscribing and we'll see you guys in the next one.